This is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP NV6 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP NV6 laptop computer. Uh, before we start, there's a couple of things we need to address. First is where to find the model number. For this particular laptop, if the label on the palm rest is missing, you can find it on the bottom. So you look in the middle row, and there it says, if we can get a good focus, it says model 6-1010 US. Uh, we're not getting good focus, so you have to trust me that's what it says. So model 6-1010 US. Okay, once we know the model number, the other consideration we need to take in, into consideration is the power. Usually when we replace the screen on a laptop computer, we like to remove uh, the battery on it to make it safe to work on. But this laptop has an internal battery, so you can't remove it. But you have to make sure that the laptop is off and is not in some sort of sleep or hibernation mode. So the way to do that is um, if you can still see a part of the screen, you just want to shut it down using Windows. Just turn power off using Windows. If, it's, if you're still not sure, unsure if it's on or off, you have to look at the two little power or two little LED lights on the side of the laptop. There's one that says power, and if it's not completely off, it will slowly be blinking on and off. And you don't want that. You want it to be completely off. So the way to accomplish that is to turn the laptop back on and then hold the power button down after that for four seconds or longer until it completely turns off. So if it's on, hold the power button down for four seconds or longer until it's completely off. And that's when you know that the laptop will be safe to work on. Okay, before we start taking the laptop apart, let's go over the tools that we're going to need. Uh, first, we have screwdrivers. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size of the screwdriver. We also have a PH00 screwdriver, and that's uh, for smaller screws that we may need. We have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's to pry open things if we need it. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck, and also an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to remove the screw covers, which we'll do shortly. And finally, for this laptop, it's not 100% necessary, but it's helpful to have a blow dryer or a hair dryer, and that's because the screen bezel has some adhesive on it, and when we warm it up, it's removed more easily. Okay, so let's get started. In order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove this screen bezel. And this screen bezel is held down by two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So we'll get started with those first. And we want to use our X-Acto knife to lift up the screw covers and remove them. And what to do is put it right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. One and two. Okay, next step what we want to do is use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom we have. One and two. And for each set of screws for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile. So when I'm putting the laptop back together, I know which pile goes where, and I keep the piles in order in which I remove them. Okay, next step is to remove the screen bezel. And like I said before, it has some adhesive that's attached to the side of the screen assembly. So if you just try to lift it up, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So what I like to do is use a blow dryer 
and to warm up the adhesive behind the screen bezel and now help me to remove the screen bezel. So I'm going to do this for a few seconds. Just go around. Okay, when you're doing this at home, you might want to do it for a couple minutes longer, but I'm not going to bore you in the video with a blow dryer. So do it for a couple minutes longer until the adhesive is loosened up. And when after you're done, you gently put your fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. And that means the bezel is coming off. And if it gets hard again at some place, you can warm it up with the blow dryer again, and that should help. So even for the little bit that I did, that helped quite a bit because it's coming off relatively easy now. And if you don't have a blow dryer, uh, don't worry. You can still get it off. I don't have any hair, so I had to bor borrow my wife's blow dryer. But it's in most households, so it should be okay. So we keep going around. And gently do go around on the bottom too. This part down here you might want to use the blow dryer again. And we're stuck a little bit at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take my flathead screwdriver and run run it along the seam at the bottom so lift up the screen bezel just take your time on this and it'll come off so and finally remove the last of the adhesive and there's some stuck on the back this part is part of the screen assembly so it's okay to remove and then we put the screen bezel down. Okay, for this type of screen, it's a thinner screen, so it's mounted to the back of the screen assembly with two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, which makes it pretty easy for us to remove. So the next step, there's some adhesive tape that's covering up one of the screws. So we use our fingernails or if you don't want to do that you can use your exacto knife to remove this adhesive tape and we put it to the side and we'll put it back on once we're done and there's some cables running along here so you got to be careful not to disturb those too much okay next step is we need to remove the screen like I said there's two screws uh, two at the top and two at the bottom so we use our PH00 screwdriver, the smaller zero screwdriver, to remove those screws. And once again, we start a new pile. One and two. And two at the bottom. One and two. Once we do that, we grab with our fingertips or fingernails the two mounting tabs at the top and slowly start pulling the screen forward towards us. There's some adhesive on the back, but it's not too bad. And we take a look, make sure nothing's stopping our progress. We slowly put the screen down like so. Now, while you're doing this, make sure that these cables aren't disturbed. They're a little bit out of the way, so when you put the screen back, make sure they're, they're in the right place. So they should be right beside the screen, so it should be okay. So the next thing, once we remove the screen, we have to remove the connector. There's only one connector on this screen, and it's down here. And there's a, there's a label on top of it, and, and behind the label there should be some adhesive tape. 
So we either, once again, we either used our fingernails or the X-Acto knife to lift up the label. Put the label to the side, we don't really need it. And also use our fingernails, or I'll try the X-Acto knife. We're going to use our X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape that's covering up the connector. So we carefully lift the adhesive tape up, making sure not to damage the connector, and pull the connector out. So the connector came out with the adhesive tape, so we just pulled it out. <clears throat> okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. It basically, it just slides in. And let's when it slides in, you should feel but not hear two clicks when it slides in. Now let's get a look at the close-up. Okay. All right, so pause the video right here. This is what a good connection should look like. There we go. And this is what a actually bad connection. So we slide it in. Okay, now it's a good connection. Pause the video right here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other, like in this screenshot right now. Okay, so next what we need to do is remove the connector again, like so. Pull it out. And let's take a look at this screen. This type of screen, it's called a 15.6 inch LED slim screen. It's uh, thinner than the standard 15.6 inch screen, so you can't just use any 15.6 uh, inch screen. You have to use this specific one. Okay, let's take a look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is N156BGE-LB1. N156BGE-LB1. So make sure you get the part after the dash too because if you just say the first part N156BGE, there's another screen with the same part number but it will not work for this laptop. Okay. Um, you can also order this screen from us, and what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. So if we send you the wrong screen and it's our fault, we will send you the right screen at no extra cost. We also have free email technical support, so if you get stuck anywhere along the way, send us an email and we'll walk you through. And we have a two-year warranty on the screen. The the screen, this screen that we sell, also comes with this toolkit at no extra charge. So the toolkit comes for free with these screens that we sell. So we have all the tools to do it with. The blow dryer, unfortunately, does not come with the screen, but hopefully you can find one around the house. And finally, we have fast delivery. We ship from warehouses in the West Coast and the East Coast, so in most cases you'll get your screen in three days or less when you choose ground shipping. And if you're outside the United States, we ship to most countries, so just go through the normal checkout procedure. Okay, to buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to the right screen to buy online. Okay, once you do get the screen in, reconnect the screen as I showed you. Gently put the screen back on the back of the screen assembly. Make sure that the cables are right next to the screen, that they're not loose or flapping around. Put the two screws in at the top two screws in at the bottom, and then put the adhesive tape back on, and then uh, snap the screen bezel back on. That should not be much, many, much of a problem. And then put the two screws in at the bottom and put on the screw covers, and you should be done. 
Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.